Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I'll show you how to enable and create private channel in Microsoft Teams. But before to jump in, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned with my next videos. Private channel is one of the most desired feature in Microsoft Teams, but also controversial. Let's check it out together. Let's go! Here I am on my PC. First off, I need to check if private channel is enabled on my tenant. In order to do that, you have to open admin teams microsoft.com. Then there is here the global policy. I will click on it because I want to give to the entire tenant the possibility to create a new private channel. Then there is here a toggle button on on for create private channel. So all good, it's already available. Now switching on my team, I am logged here as Giuliano. I have here a global HR team ready to go. Now I need to stay closer with my HR colleagues based in Spain. In this team, as you can see, I already have some members there. I have Ligu, Diego Siciliani, Alex Wilber and Patti Fernandez. So now I will click on three dots and then there is a channel option. I will type HR Spain and then there is the privacy. Here you can select private. I'll go ahead with next and then you have to select the member of this private channel. So I will click on Ligu and here you have the classic possibility to uh, select owner on member for this for this user member is fine for me done and here we go with the new private channel hr spain there is the padlock icon here that represent that the channel is private so now switching on a different perspective i am in teams logged as patty fernandez here and as you can see we have global hr team if i refresh this page we can see that private channel just created is not available. If I switch again on the another perspective, in this case Li Gu, we can see if I refresh the page that the private channel is available and she can post and upload files. Another thing that I want to call out here is that planner is not available for private channel. This is good to know in advance. Now it's important to mention to do is that why private channel is, is different. Basically because there is a, behind a new SharePoint site collection completely dedicated. In fact, if I go on Giuliano view and if I click on the tab files, we can see by clicking on the button SharePoint. Three dots and then open in SharePoint. We can see that we have a new site collection here. We have the name of the team, Global HR, and then we have the name of the private channel. Now, if I go on the general channel on Files tab, I'll show you that the site collection is completely different. We have here Global HR and then here we have Global HR and the HR Spain. And this is exactly the reason why in private channel is possible to have different permission. All right, we have seen how to create private channel in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all. I hope to see you next time. Bye.